In today's devlog, I'm gonna talk about why we replaced one of our enemies in Billy's Nightmare. But more about that later. First, I wanna show you a couple of new rooms that we have added. Ever since we announced the movie studio level 3 months ago, we haven't added any new rooms. So we decided to take a small break from adding enemies and instead added some new rooms, to prevent the devlogs from looking too repetitive. The first new room that we added is a room with a medieval theme. Our idea is that this is the room where they make a movie about the Black Knight enemy. The medieval room is surrounded by painted stone walls and a couple of prop weapons. In the middle of the room we have some market stands and fake houses. We also reused some fake horses from our western room and placed them in the medieval room. And to make it feel more like a movie studio, we of course added some cameras and spotlights. The second room that we added is a room with a battlefield theme. This is the room where they would make a movie about our World War I soldier enemy. The battlefield room is surrounded by painted walls with barbed wire and minefields. In the middle of the room we have some pillars made of sandbags. We also have some prop sandbags that you can destroy, together with some more barbed wire and a couple of anti-tank obstacles. Now that we have begun adding some new rooms, the video material for the devlogs will hopefully not look as repetitive in the future. So, what enemy has been replaced and why? Well, as you may have noticed in the thumbnail, the enemy that has gotten replaced is the cameraman. The cameraman was one of the new enemies added to the movie studio level back in devlog 28. It was a fun enemy in theory, but we never really liked it and something about his attack just made him feel very weak and boring. But there's another reason why we decided to replace him. You see, now that both the director boss and the editor boss are crew members, we felt like continuing on the same theme, where our bosses are crew members and all the normal enemies are actors. So the cameraman enemy had to go. But Jonas, you might ask, what about the clapperboard enemy? That's not an actor, why do you keep him? Well, that's true, the clapperboard enemy is not an actor, but nor is it a crew member. And it's not like we're going to make the clapperboard a boss, so we decided to keep it as a weak little enemy. Anyway, with the cameraman enemy removed, we now needed a new enemy with a similar attack to take his place. Since the attack consists of projectiles being fired very fast, we decided to make an action hero with a machine gun. So for his design, we took inspiration from Sylvester Stallone in Rambo. When replacing the cameraman with the action hero, we also decided to make a few changes to his attack. Since he's using a machine gun, we doubled the amount of projectiles spawned from 8 to 16. And to make it feel even more dangerous, we decrease the cooldown so the projectiles spawn much faster. Plus, the movie studio level comes after the school level, so it felt like a good idea to make the action hero more difficult to fight, compared to the guitar player, which his AI is inspired by. With the cameraman enemy gone and the action hero added, we can now spend some time finishing the third boss for the movie studio level. It will hopefully be ready for the next devlog. But until then, I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think about the action hero enemy? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.